In this instructional, we will work through some of the steps to create a plan oblique paraline projection. The plan oblique is perhaps the simplest and most widely used paraline or axonometric projection. For objects or buildings that are predominantly simple extrusions, it is easiest to start with a scaled version of the plan drawn on tracing paper. We will then create the paraline view from this plan. Starting with one of the plans, what we do is we rotate the plan so that the left hand side geometry is angled to the horizontal or bottom of your drawing board at 30 degrees. Being a plan oblique, the plan we will be using will be rectilinear so the geometry receding to the right should be at 60 degrees to the horizontal. We would typically tape the plan onto the drawing board with masking tape and then place a fresh sheet of tracing paper over the top to start the drawing. Once the plan is set up at the correct angle, start projecting vertical lines from the plan to create the z-axis or third dimension. Project at the correct height according to the scale of the plan and the object being represented. Then finish by projecting the plan to the top part of the three-dimensional view and then rub out the line work that is hidden from view. By and large, we typically do not show hidden detail on paraline drawings. At the end of the exercise, you should have a three-dimensional view, something similar to the drawing on the right-hand side of this slide. We can repeat the same process again with the second plan view. In this instance, we are drawing the layered cube, and we are drawing both halves of the cube independently. We will bring them together later in two different versions of plan oblique views. In most instances, constructing a plan oblique is rather easy, as most architectural plans are more or less extruded towards a cutoff by the level above or the roof. In the case of more complex objects where there is no simple extrusion, it may be better to build up the drawing in stages. This is where working with tracing paper is really beneficial as you can construct parts of the geometry and then with a fresh sheet of tracing paper work over the top of it to make your final versions. In this instance drawing the stick cube plan oblique is rather tricky and perhaps it would be probably easier to concentrate on producing the basic framework of the cube first. The basic cube form is comprised of sticks defining each edge of the cube. As you build up the drawing following the plan oblique rule, the drawing can get quite chaotic, so it does require a bit of concentration. As you get more definition in the plan oblique form, it may be useful to trace the outline view of the cube as shown on the left before starting to fill in the internal detail. Construct the internal detail and then edit away the line work that is hidden to create the final plan oblique view. The stick cube will be the most difficult to draw and it is wise to approach the construction of the drawing with layers of tracing paper so that you don't get confused by the line work. Finally, no hidden detail is to be shown, just show the outline detail on the drawing.